time for another edition of Pitwall Park's vlog. What are we going to be up today? And I'm in the basement watching a little YouTube, but I'm going out to work on a project. Doing a little YouTube. Ron is in the hospital again. Boy, that man's had his share of problems with it. But I know the feeling, Ron. hear her but I can't hear him. He can talk loud when he wants to. <laughs> Alright Ron, I'm about to get me some speakers on my laptop down here. I can't hear that cotton picking thing. Anyway, I know the feeling my friend. I've done my share of time in the hospital. It ain't no fun. As I was saying, I have done some rearranging down here. There's basically this corner of the basement I've took over for myself. I'm going to add some more lighting down here for a chance I get. Well, that's enough tinkering. Oh, I got plenty of chairs for people to sit when you come and visit me. Nobody ever comes to visit me, huh? I definitely got room for people to sit. Let's go out and see what I've been digging out of the garage. Now there's what I dragged out of the garage. Like I said, I got plenty of junk in there projects I can be working on. This happens to be an old table saw. I bought it from somebody's yard sale for $10. You know and I know it probably don't work. I figured it might be worth $10 just for parts. Heck, the blade might be worth $10. But I thought I'd spend some time just I blowed it off with air a while ago, but the bottom of it's still full of sawdust. It's got a motor and some parts in there. Pretty nasty. We will tinker with it. Just the table itself. Ought to be something I can do with. I'm gonna take it apart and see what makes it tick. Wouldn't it be a kick in the butt if I could get that thing working? Burning my fingers. That thing's really hot if you're sitting out in the sun. All right, my friends. Let's plug her in just to see if the motor works. Well, didn't blow a fuse. on it in here but you know and I know if I go to sawing something it's going to be done out in the driveway and I enjoy taking things apart more than once I took something apart couldn't get it back together though we're going to at least take it far enough apart we can clean the cotton picking thing 
worst come to worst, I can always sell it and get my ten dollars back. All right, my friends. Sometimes discretion is the better part of valor. Now, what does that mean? Sometimes you don't just leave well enough alone. Ten dollars is ten dollars. I could tear into it, break something, wind up spending more money on it. Or I can drag this sucker outside and see if I can get ten dollars worth of cutting out of it before I throw it away. I have decided against taking it apart for now. I did hear it run. I don't got to interfere the time to tinker with the thing. But was you know, maybe another day. I got plenty more projects in that garage. But I think I will at least see if it'll cut. I'm going to take the nasty thing back outside. Surely there's a faster way to get the blade up than that. So many parts under here are rusty and dirty and corroded. I don't feel like tinkering with it right now. Take this thing back outside, run the extension cord out there. See if we can cut us a piece of wood. Alright, I got the sawhorse set up out here in my front of the garage. It's not level, hopefully it won't vibrate right off of there. I got a piece of oak. At this point you know it might not cut it at all. And a piece of I was going to say pine, but I believe it's probably poplar. And you're my witnesses. This thing blows up in my face. At least somebody knew what I was doing when I got salt in hand. You know what, I believe I can get ten dollars worth of cutting out of this thing, just square up, squaring off still. I know this fence ain't worth a flip. I don't even know how to work it. Probably didn't come off this machine. Isn't that a nice fence? I don't even know how to work the damn thing. Obviously goes right there. Get the pizza jump. Alright, it cut that poplar pretty good. Let's try a piece of oak. See if I'm zoomed in. I will store this thing back in the garage when I need to. You build something sometime, we're gonna crank it up and see how it does. My 
my friends, that blade is pretty dang sharp. I guess it was worth ten dollars. I've decided against taking it apart. Everything's too rusty and cruddy in there. Spend some more time blowing it out when I get a chance. Alright my friends, what will Walter get into next? Tune in and find out. If you like my videos, I appreciate it. You reach down there and click a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching my friends.